Let us give thanks to our Creator and ask His blessings upon our gathering here this, uh, this evening. Gracious God, our Heavenly Father, we do give you thanks for all of your many blessings upon us. And we know that your blessings upon us are too many to even count. For that we give you praise, we give you thanks. Again, for your love, your grace, your mercy upon each and every one of us. We pray, Heavenly Father, your blessings upon all of our honorees of this evening. And we thank you for the institutions that shaped them and also for the homes that molded them. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for teachers that taught them. We ask that you would bless them as well. We ask presence, we invite you into our midst, and we ask that you bless our time of celebration together, and we ask and do pray all of these things in your holy and precious name, amen. Association, new inductees, welcome to the 30th Annual Hall of Champions Induction Ceremony. I promised as the president of our association to try and make our program a little shorter for your enjoyment. Please note my formal written welcome is on page one of your program for you to read at your convenience. I will now call Mr. Joseph Howe, our high school principal. Good evening. On behalf of the administration, the faculty, staff, and students of Norristown Area High School, it's my pleasure to welcome you to the 2008 Hall of Champions Hall of Fame induction ceremony. Tonight, as we honor alumni who have excelled in athletics while they were here, and those of you who distinguished yourselves in your respective following graduation, we also add to the list of real-life success stories for our current students to emulate. I commend the Hall of Champions Association for their service to our school and congratulate you on your 30th anniversary. We are proud here at the high school to note that for the second year in a row, one of your inductees is a current member of our faculty. I would like to extend personal congratulations to all of this evening's inductees and to those current students being honored as, and their families as well. Thank you. At this time, Wilmer Cressman will recognize our previous Hall of Champions and Hall of Fame inductees who are present tonight. May I have the house lights, please? As I introduce each of the former inductees, I wish you would please stand and remain standing until all the names are read. I'd appreciate it if you would hold your applause until I've read all the names. From the class of 1959, Jerry Spinelli Hall of Fame. From the class of 1973, David Fry Hall of Fame. From the class of 1959, Bob Beardelli Hall of Fame. From the class of 1970, Dean Allman Hall of Fame. From the class of 1958, Tom Catanese, Hall of Fame. From the class of 1959, Roger Edelman, Hall of Fame. From the class of 1955, Guido Martinelli, Hall of Fame. From the class of 1960, 
Samuel D. Miller III, of Fame. From the class of 1949, Clarence Rader, Hall of Fame. From the class of 1957, Richard Schulberg, Hall of Fame. From the class of 1949, Robert Kane, Hall of Fame. From the class of 1951, William Markley, Hall of Fame. The Hall of Champion inductees there, from the class of 1965, Dave Stagliano, Sr., Hall of Champions. From the class of 1968, Ernie Hadrick, Jr., Hall of Champions. From the class of 1958, Phil Nur, Hall of Champions. From the class of 1951, Bill Werkheiser, Hall of Champions. From the class of 1962, Jim Williams, Hall of Champions. From the class of 1954, Rinky, Frank Rinky Batson, Hall of Champions. From the class of 1958, Bob Eastwood, Hall of Champions. And from the class of 1955, John Heist, Hall of Champions. We are very glad to see all of you return tonight. Wilmer Cressman again to come uh, back up here and present the Lewis Spinelli Memorial Award. And by the way, Wilmer is one of our past presidents and chairman of the Spinelli Selection Committee. Thank you. Thank you very much, Bill. It is my distinct pleasure this evening at this to present the person selected for the ninth annual Lewis A. Spinelli Memorial Award. This is a very special award and is the only one of its kind that is given by an organization connected with a high school. The criteria for being selected for this award is dedication over time to viewing NAHS sporting events. Mr. Spinelli was an avid Norristown Area High School sports fan for over 60 years of his life. He was also a director of the Hall of Champions Association for many years. Our association created this memorial for him when he passed away at the age of 90 in March of 2000. A memorial plaque for Mr. Spinelli is mounted on a wall in the athletic wing of the school with the selector's name, selected winner's names inscribed. We continue to search for nominees who meet the criteria for this award. If you are such a person or know a person who qualifies, please send the name and a summary of his or her sport fan attendance to the Hall of Champions Association in care of the high school. Our recipient for, the, for 2009 is Clarence Bob Henning. Bob has been a regular and enthusiastic fan of Norristown Area High School sports since 1940, when he was nine years old. To this day, 68 years later, he continues to be an active fan, viewing all sports, but especially football and basketball. He was born and raised in Norristown. He went to Wellwood Steel Company in 1951 and worked there until 1977 when the plant closed. He served in the Air Force from 1952 to 1956. In 1977, he worked as a utility foreman for the Norristown Area School District, retiring in 2002. He is currently employed part-time at the Sears Hardware Store in East Norton. He was also a PIAA official for basketball, baseball, and football. He is married to the former Sarah E. Davis of Sweden, parents of children Clarence Jr., Kevin, Carla, and Randy. Mr. Henning, will you please come to the stage to accept your award?
Bob, I have a certificate for you to signify that you are the sports fan of the year for 2008. And in addition to that, I have a lifetime activities pass for all the events at the Norristown School District. I want to thank everybody that had anything to do with this for me. Uh, I knew Lou well. He was a very fine gentleman. And I thank you all, and especially my wife, who lets me go to all these events. <laughs> thank you. Hall of Fame, the Hall of Champions. It's my privilege tonight to introduce outstanding student athletes currently at Norriston Area High School, and that's an also a great thing by the Hall of Champions to honor our present students and make them part of this great tradition. First, our sophomores from the class of 2011, Gabriel Burry. Gabby has played softball and field hockey during her two years at Norristown High. She was the only freshman to start on the varsity softball team last spring, and this fall started for the varsity field hockey team. She earned varsity letters in softball and field hockey. She was chosen as Rookie of the Year for the Norriston Area High School softball team and selected an honorable mention all suburban one league at second base. She's proud to have started on a district playoff softball team in her first year and is looking for continued success. She is the number two student in the class with a 4.67 GPA. Gabby Burry. <laughs> Our next honor, Anthony Donalfi. Anthony has played two years of football and one year of baseball at Norristown. And he will continue in both sports during his t remaining time here at the high school. He earned a varsity letter this past fall in football where he started as a sophomore at safety while returning kicks and punts. He also saw some time in the offensive backfield and he's already showing leadership qualities on the field. He's proud to have started on the football team as a sophomore and he said he will never forget covering Jerron Stokes of Northeast High School who had already signed at Tennessee in his first varsity game. His parents are Kathy and Alex. Before I continue, I'd also like to mention Gabby Burry's parents, Kathy and Don, who are here. <laughs> Our next sophomore honoree is Andrea Stickley. Andrea was a member of three varsity teams as a freshman at Town High School last year, cross country, basketball, and soccer. She is also an outstanding honor student, ranked number one in the sophomore class with a 4.75 GPA. She earned varsity letters in cross country and soccer in her freshman year. She also ran cross country this fall and will start basketball practice on Monday for her sophomore season, followed by soccer in the spring. Andrea feels her athletic participation has taught her respect and teamwork. She's proud of being on the state qualifying girls basketball team last season. Her parents are Janice and David. Andrea Stickley. Our juniors from the class of 2010, Brandon Bell. Brandon played freshman and JV basketball, JV soccer, freshman, and last year varsity baseball. He also intends to play basketball and baseball this coming year. He was named a Times Herald or Area Honorable Mention in Baseball in 08 while earning a varsity letter. He also was honored with the 2008 Billy Harrell Gold Glove Award for Norristown High School. He has a 3.91 GPA and ranks in the ten, top 10% 10 of his class, and he's proud over a divorcee letter and the gold glove as a sophomore for the Norristown baseball team. Brandon Bell. <laughs> Brandon's parents are Diane and Dave. Our next honoree is Natasha Matthews. Natasha has two varsity letters in basketball as a freshman and sophomore. She's an honor, honor roll student with a 3.2 GPA. 
She played in the district tournament as a freshman and sophomore, and also played in the state tournament last year as a sophomore. Natasha begins her junior basketball season at Norristown on Monday. Her mother, Rosemarie, is here with her. Natasha Matthews. Our next student athlete is Anthony Roby. Anthony played football and basketball for three years and track for one year so far. He has two varsity letters in football in 10th and 11th grade and one in track in 10th grade. Anthony qualified for the districts in outdoor track in the 100 meter and four by 100 relay and for the state championship meet in the four by 100 relay where the team played with a new school record. He had an outstanding football season, and although the All-League team has not been announced, I think he has a good chance for recognition there. On Friday night, Anthony scored a touchdown against Ben Salem on a 17-yard catch that sent the game into overtime. He enjoys being a student athlete and is proud to have started a sophomore on the football team and his relay team's success at States. His parents are Brenda and Anthony. Good job, Anthony. Our senior outstanding student athletes. The first is Kimberly Detweiler. Kim is not here tonight. She's participating at the Student Council State Conference in Gettysburg. Kim has four varsity letters in field hockey, swimming, and softball. She was all suburban one league in the backstroke for two years, and her relay team was all suburban one for three years. She was the third team catcher, all suburban one league as a sophomore, second team as a junior. She was also all area times hurled, first team catcher. She's also an outstanding student in Norristown. Her highlights were making the districts three years in swimming and going to states. She's looking to conclude her career at Norristown in swimming and softball with successful seasons. Her parents are Lynn and Tom. Our next honoree is Michael Good. Michael has three varsity football and he was captain of the team. He has two varsity letters in indoor track and outdoor track where he also was named captain of the team as a junior. He's an honor roll student. Michael qualified for states in the long jump for both indoor and outdoor track. He should be in all suburban one selection in football. He had an outstanding season for the Eagles. He's a talented athlete who combines that with a great work ethic. He scored a touchdown on our overtime football win at Ben Salem last Friday night. He's here with his mother, Vicki. Michael Good. <laughs> our final senior honoree from the class of 2009 is James Ramsey. James has three varsity letters in football, two in basketball. James was named second team all suburban one league in basketball as a junior. He was our starting quarterback in football this year. To conclude his football career, James scored the winning touchdown, a third down eight yard run in overtime to defeat Ben Salem on the last play of his high school career at Norristown. James was a starter on last season's Norristown area high school basketball team, which finished 32 and two, winning the suburban one league, second place in district one, Pennsylvania Western Region champions, second place in the state. Playing in those district and state championship games are a highlight of, Jim, of James's years at Norristown. He's here with his mother, Rochelle, James Ramsey.
Stuart W. Percy, class of 1958. A participant in three varsity sports, this athlete was first team varsity quarterback in his senior year when the 1957 team went undefeated and untied. He was also first team JV quarterback and second team varsity quarterback as a sophomore and starting varsity quarterback as a junior. Under head coach Leroy, he led the Narstown team to a 17 to six victory over then undefeated Lower Marion in 1957, breaking that team's 31 game winning streak as the Eagles won the Suburban One League title. He was named to the Honorable Mention Associated Press All-State Team and the Suburban Philadelphia All-Star Football Team. He was a member of the JV basketball team in 1955 and the varsity team in 1956. His baseball career in V team in his sophomore year and the varsity team in both his junior and senior years. At Narstown, he was a member of the N Club and the Key Club. Following high school, he attended Fort Union Military Academy in Virginia and graduated from the University of Richmond in Richmond, Virginia in 1961, playing varsity football at the University of Richmond for three years. Owner and operator of the family business, Piedmont Blasting Incorporated in Statesville, North Carolina since 1974, he formerly worked as a sales and technical service representative for the DuPont Explosive Division and then was employed by Atlas Powder Company in North Carolina. Hobbies for this athlete include golf and Carolina Panthers football, as well as travel and his grandchildren. He and his wife, Pat, have two children, Chad and Renee, as well as five grandchildren. They reside in Statesville, North Carolina. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Stuart W. Percy to the Norristown Area High School Hall of Champions. Good evening and thank you very much. It certainly is an honor and a privilege to be inducted into the Hall of Champions. I'd like to say a little bit about my parents. Uh, my father, although not from Norristown, uh, loved Norristown football and basketball. And some of you recalled earlier this evening, he also ran a concession stand at Roosevelt Field for many years. My mother is a Norristown High grad. Her younger brother, Bob McCracken, was the general manager of the Times Herald and is a member of the Hall of Fame. Uh, I'd like to thank Phil Nur for asking me to apply for membership. Uh, also the selection committee, and especially Bob Kane, who patiently waited on my paperwork. But most importantly, uh, I'd like to thank uh, my coach, Roy Kent, and my fellow teammates uh, on the 57 football team. Thanks very much. Michael Branca, Jr., class of 1959. A triple threat athletic achiever in football, wrestling, and track, this inductee was a varsity starting lineman all three years at Norristown. He was the first team offensive guard and defensive lineman on the 1957 undefeated untied football pension on Pennsylvania 33 scholastic football squad for 1958. As a wrestler, he was the varsity starting heavyweight during all three years at Norristown, 
winning 80% of his matches. He performed with the shot put on the track team during his junior and senior years at NHS. In high school, he was also a member of the N Club, serving as president in his senior year, and he was a member of the Key Club, serving as vice president in his senior year. He earned his Bachelor of Science degree in Economics at the University of Pennsylvania, Wharton School of Business, and performed as a guard on the University of Pennsylvania freshman football team. He earned varsity letters as a starting defensive guard and backup offensive guard in his sophomore and junior years at Penn. He is retired after 35 years as a sales representative for the Standard Register Company of Dayton, Ohio, where he had the Delaware Sales Tour and was a member of the President's Club. A member of Bayshore Community Church, he remains active in his church and has been a Sunday school teacher, home Christian discussion group leader, and a teacher for more than 30 years. He and his wife, Jean, are the parents of daughters Kim and Kerry. The couple resides in Dagsboro, Delaware, and in Florida's Melbourne Palm Bay area during the winter months. Ladies and gentlemen, we honor Mr. Branca's athletic achievement. Welcome him to the Norriston Area High School Hall of Champions. Golly, that reminded me of this is your life. <laughs> it's been 50 years, it's almost unbelievable. I'd just like to uh, thank uh, a lot of people, uh, the Hall of Champion Committee. Uh, Phil, Phil Nair, our uh, starting center on that team, uh, he's the one that got things rolling. And Bob Kane, thank you, he was back. But uh, it, it, it is hard to believe 50 years have gone by, and a lot of things have happened. And uh, I just want to say uh, thank you to the important things in life, which was family, my teammates, and the coaches. And uh, we had a great team in 57, and it's a memory that uh, is still fresh and a good memory. Uh, so we had a lot of good memories. But uh, the one thing that was very strong in our life was, a, and I just, uh, mom, is, mom is here right now. Uh, dad has passed on. Mom was my, uh, before they even talked about it, my personal nutritionist. She fed me pasta every day in order to bulk me up. And dad, this is a private joke, dad was my, uh, my personal trainer. And uh, he had me carry cases up and down the steps from the cellar uh, every day to, to, in order to really do uh, to my workout. He was my trainer. And when the cases got light, he added another case on top. But uh, Dad has passed away, but uh, you know, I just uh, got good memories of Dad. And my brother and sister were probably my best uh, cheerleaders and supporters. So thank you, family. Thank you, team. Thank the coaches, and thank you, the hall. Richard M. Slater II, class of 1973. Winner of 10 varsity letters in three different sports during his years at Norristown, this athlete helped his teams in football, winter track, and outdoor track. During his high school career, he played several positions on the Eagles' offensive line. An offensive tackle in his sophomore year, he played guard during his junior season and both tackle and center during his senior year. He was named to the All-Suburban One-Leg Team all three years 
and was chosen team captain during his senior year. He started every game for three years, earning a varsity letter each year. He was also selected to play in the Montgomery County All-Star football game in 1973. As a winter track participant each year, he earned a varsity letter starting in his freshman season, giving him four varsity letters in this sport. He was a gold medalist in shot put in every indoor meet during his senior year, including the Pennsylvania Indoor Championships and the Meet of Champions in Princeton. His outdoor track career included participation all three years of high school, winning him another three varsity letters. He was named a member of the 1973 Pennsylvania State Championship team, in which he was a medalist in the shot put. Other high school activities included membership in the band and playing the first chair baritone horn in his senior year. He played trumpet in the jazz band and sang in the choir and the Region 3 All-State Chorus. Rich went on to receive a Bachelor of Arts in History and English with a voice minor from Bucknell University and was able to focus on two careers. First, as an athlete, he played semi-professional football for three seasons with the Far Northeast Knights of Philadelphia, two seasons in the mainline Summer Lacrosse League. He was a finalist in the Squash Championships at Radnor Racquet Club in 1979 and at the University Club of Washington in 2006. He is also a former member of the Norristown Striders. In addition, he has had a music career beginning in Norristown where he received the Octave Club of Norristown Scholarship to study in Europe. At Bucknell, he founded the Bison Chips Men's A Cappella Chorus. He was bass soloist for the Choir of Men and Boys at the Washington National Cathedral, Washington, D.C. A soloist with the Philadelphia Orchestra and a professional opera singer for 12 years. He was a finalist in the 1992 Opera Company of Philadelphia Luciano Pavarotti International Voice Competition and performed with Pavarotti. He was also winner of vocal competitions including the Bel Canto Foundation American Opera Auditions and the Meister Singer Competition in Austria, among others. He is a former member of the Philadelphia Singers and officer of the semi-professional Mendelssohn Club of Philadelphia Chorus a member of the American Guild of Musical Artists and the American Federation of Television and Radio Artists, this inductee resides in Alexandria, Virginia and has two children, Callison and Abigail. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Rich Slater to the Norristown Area High School Hall of Champions. Well, 35 years, this is great. Um, I have absolutely nothing prepared. So uh, I'd like to uh, though thank the, the hall, um, especially Cindy, where's Cindy? Thanks for shepherding me through this. Um, I wanna thank the coaches, particularly Bob Shout. Bob's here, oh well. You know Jay Simpson or some sports memorabilia show, probably. Um, but um, I'd also like to thank Coach Servino, Coach Telfer, uh, Coach Grove, uh, Bud Eldridge. Um, I don't think I could have gone on uh, through everything that I've done without, without them. Um, they really uh, gave me a really firm foundation. I'd like to thank my parents. Um, Mom is no longer with us, but Pop, class of 1940, sitting right out there. Hi, Pop. <laughs> uh, 
and, uh, and the accomplishment that I'm most proud of are my two kids, Cal and Abby. They're amazing. And I want to thank my friends from Virginia who have come up to visit. And uh, that's really all I have to say. But thank you again very much. Manish G. Patel, class of 1990. A wrestler who brought a total of 58 wins to Norristown during his three-year high school career, this inductee also was a member of the school's soccer, cross-country, and track and field teams. With a record of 12 wins in his sophomore year, 21 wins in his junior year, and 25 wins in his senior year, he was selected captain of the 1990 wrestling team. In addition, he was named most improved wrestler in 1987-88. He won the Upper Merion Tournament in 1989 and was runner-up in the AM Tournament. Selected to the second team All Suburban One League at 98 pounds in 1988 and at 103 pounds in 1989, he earned first team league status in 1990 at 103 pounds. In Section 3 competition at the PIAA tournament, he placed fourth in 1989 and second in 1990, then placed third in District 1 and regionals in 1990, when he was also a qualifier and an all-state selection. In addition to participation in soccer, cross-country, and track and field, he was named a Student of the Month while at Norristown. He earned a Bachelor of Arts degree with a major in chemistry and a minor in biology from Virginia Tech University, where he was a member of the wrestling team all four years of college, placing third in 1995 at both the Colonial Athletic Association Tournament and the Virginia State Tournament. As a golf hobbyist, he has won the first flight match play championship at the Humboldt Golf and Country Club in Humboldt, Tennessee, as well as the Nelson Flight Championship 2008 men's match play at the same club. An American Red Cross board member, a motel owner and real estate property manager, he resides with his wife, Sunita, in Jackson, Tennessee. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Patel to the Norristown Area High School Hall of Champions. Uh, I just really wanted to say thank you to Norristown Area High School and Mr. Coach Steve Harner. I mean, I don't think I would have made it without Coach Harner. He really, really helped me a lot. I mean, my family, you know, they really were into the studying and everything. Mr. Harner, he helped me through everything to get through schools and uh, really made me where I was, you know, went to he, in fact, took me all to college. He, when we went to Virginia Tech, he took me up there. So I really, really want to thank Mr. Uh, Coach Harner for did what he did for me. Thank you.
is directed by Ms. Lynn Greenwald. The orchestra directed by Ms. Lady Moran. We thank you for lending both your time and your talent to this evening's program. And I would also like to thank the Hall of Fame Hall of Champions for including our students in your induction program. It means a lot to them, it means a lot to us. And so it is my pleasure to introduce this year's Norristown Area High School Outstanding Student Scholars. Our first recipient is a straight-A student and ranked in the top 10 of her class. She is a member of the Student Council. She is the secretary of the Key Club. She is active in the activities of the class of 2011. She is a member of DECA, the Drama Club, the Swim Team, the Softball Team. She has won numerous academic awards and in addition has been honored by, with the uh, Emergency Aid of Pennsylvania Founders Award. On Monday, she will be inducted into the National Honor Society. She's the daughter of Richard Bateman Jr. and Ellen Ross. Please welcome Allison Bateman. Our next recipient is a straight-A student and ranked in the top 10 of her class. She's a member of the Chess Club, the Law and Justice Book Club, Reading Olympics, the N Club, Student Council, Key Club, Wingspan, member of the volleyball team, active in the activities of the class of 2011 on our Pennsylvania Math League Compa team. She is, remains active in the Girl Scouts. She too has received numerous academic awards, has been recognized with the Emergency Aid of Pennsylvania Founders Award, has also been recognized by the DAR and the Nas National Preservation Society, and she too will be inducted into the National Honor Society on Monday. She is the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Gary O'Connor. Mr. O'Connor will be accepting the award for Mary Beth this evening because she is representing uh, our next recipient as a straight-A student, and interestingly enough, ranked in the top 10 of his class. He's a member of DECA, has received numerous academic attendance and faculty awards, including the Distinguished Honors Award in English, Business and Finance Small Learning Community Faculty Award. He is the son of Mr. and Mrs. John Pigeon. Please welcome John Pigeon. From our junior class, our next recipient is a straight-A student ranked in the top 10 of her class. She's a member of the National Honor Society, plays on the field hockey and lacrosse teams, is a member of Key Club, Orchestra, Breast Cancer Awareness Program, Class of 2010 activities, and has also received numerous academic attendance and faculty awards. She's the daughter of Ms. Bray Ramsey. Please welcome Sharon I. Banks. Our next recipient is a straight-A student ranked in the top ten of his class, a member of the National Honor Society. He's the president of the German Club, member of the baseball team, and has received numerous academic and department awards. He is the son of Mr. and Mrs. Mike Belsky. Please welcome Stephen Belsky. Next recipient is a straight A student ranked in the top 10 of her class. She's a member of the National Honor Society, Student Council, DECA. She's the vice president of the class of 2010, member of Key Club, Wingspan, on the lacrosse and basketball teams, has received numerous academic awards, including 
the Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Award. She is the daughter of Ms. Simone Benjamin. Please welcome Liana Benjamin. And to our seniors, the first recipient is a straight-A student ranked in the top 10 of her class. She is the co-president of the National Honor Society. She's a member of the Student Council Cabinet, the Pennsylvania Math League, DECA, Reading Olympics, Softball, numerous academic department and faculty awards. She is the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Adam Dietzel. Please welcome Christine Dietzel. Next recipient is a straight-A student ranked in the top 10 of his class, a member of the National Honor Society, webmaster for the Key Club, member of DECA. She is a member of the National Honor Society. She is in the band. She is in our state champion marching band. She is a member of the indoor guard, played this evening in the honors orchestra, is president of the Key Club on the Reading Olympics team, the Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania Math League, is active in Girl Scouts and 4-H, has received numerous academic awards, including the Principal's Leadership Award. She is the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Robert, Robert White. Please welcome Robin White. H. Lawson, Jr., Ph.D., Class of 1959. A lifelong mathematician, this Norristown alumnus has garnered distinguished honors in that field. He has been a full-time professor of mathematics, including research, at the State University of New York, Stony Brook, Long Island, since 1978, and has held the position of distinguished professor since 1993. Prior to his present position, he was a lecturer, professor, and assistant at the University of California, Berkeley, and he has served in extended visiting positions at various institutions around the world, including the Institut des Hautes Etudes Scientifiques, École Polytechnique, and Institut Henri Poincaré, Paris, France, the Research Institute for Math Sciences, Kyoto, Japan, and Tata Institute for Fundamental Research in Bombay, India. In 1995, this inductee was elected to the National Academy of Sciences, an honor bestowed on only three mathematicians in the country each year. The honor was awarded for a series of outstanding breakthroughs and research contributions in the field of mathematics including one in the area of differential topology, which was written up in the 1971 yearbook of the Encyclopedia Britannica. He is the author of sets and more than 100 research papers in mathematics for top journals. He was co-creator with Rhys Harvey of the theory of calibrations, now a major section of the Mathematical Subject Classification Index of the American Mathematical Society. During his high school career, he was salutatorian of his class, a member of the football and track teams, student council vice president, and a representative in student congress. He was a homeroom officer, served on the Spice literary staff, and was a member of both the debate club and the N club. In 1964, he was awarded a Bachelor of Science in Applied Mathematics and a Bachelor of Arts in Russian Literature from Brown University. He received his Master of Science degree in Mathematics from Stanford University in 1966 and his PhD in Mathematics from Stanford in 1968. His work on out cycles and homotopy theory led to the development of Lawson homology, 
a major new tool in the field of algebraic geometry. Awards include election to the Brazilian Academy of Sciences, Guggenheim Fellow, Sloan Research Fellow, and Fellow of the Japan Society for Promotion of Science. He is Chairman of the National Committee for Mathematics, Vice President of the American Mathematical Society, and Trustee of the Mathematics Research Institute. He and his wife, Marie Louise Michelson, reside in Stony Brook, New York. They are the parents of three daughters, Christina Torak, Heather Ford, and Michelle Michelson. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome H. Blaine Lawson, Jr. to the Nars Canaria High School Hall of Fame. Thank you very, very much. Um, I noticed I was the only one, at least so far, who was shown with practically no clothing on. Um, as I've looked back over my life periodically, um, I've often realized how important my years at Norristown High School were. We were, I think, very fortunate, those of us who were here back in the 50s. Uh, among other things, the teachers were phenomenal. Um, you know, during the 1930s, we had a, a depression. I hope we do not have another one. And um, a lot of very, and, and teaching high school was a particularly good job. And um, a lot of people with talent came into high school teaching and, uh, and were quite dedicated to it. I had marvelous teachers. I mean, I went off to college at fancy Ivy League school and all these people came in from prep schools all over New England and I hit the ground running because I had a marvelous education. But it wasn't just that. I think that um, we were fortunate in those days because of the people around us, in particular the, the coaches. And Roy Kent was probably one of the really formative people in my life at that time. And he most certainly was formative, transformative for many, many people. Um, we, were, we were really fortunate to have him and, and and his to to total coaching staff. But uh, most of all, I think it's the friends that I had here in Norristown who were, who were really important to me. A lot of times people go off to college and their life before college just doesn't compare. Well, for me, it's just the, by the time I left university and went off, I realized that the friendships I had here were always the most important. And uh, as I've come back, I realize that that's true for a lot of people here. So um, I want to thank you all, particularly my friends. Thank you. Susan Levin Binder, class of 1970. This inductee, recognized as an expert in highway finance and economics, has served her country in government offices since she joined the U.S. Department of Transportation in 1975 as a departmental transportation management intern, working in various capacities and in the office of the secretary. On June 2, 2008, she became the Senior Policy Advisor to the Senate Environment and Public Works Committee, chaired by California Senator Barbara Boxer. Along the way, she was Director, Office of Legislative and Governmental Affairs in May 1998. She serves as Deputy Associate Administrator for Policy and Governmental Affairs, directing a multidisciplinary staff in developing and analyzing alternative federal aid highway programs, policies, and legislative proposals. She also manages the development of the Federal Highway Administration's National Strategic Planning Initiatives and conducts congressional and government relations activities. 
along with her duties as Director of Legislative and Governmental Affairs from January 2001 to June 2002, she served as Associate Administrator, Director of Policy, and Director of International Programs. She is also serving as the Executive Director of the National Surface Transportation Policy and Revenue Study Commission, where she leads a multimodal staff in support of the 12-person, congressionally mandated commission chaired by the Secretary of Transportation. At Norristown High School, she received a National Merit Scholar Letter of Commendation, was a member of Honor Society, the Spice and Scribbler staffs, the Pep Club, Glee, and the World Affairs and Organization, and was High Eye Editor. In 1974, she received a Bachelor of Science degree, cum laude, in textiles and consumer economics from the University of Maryland. She was awarded a master's degree in business administration with transportation emphasis by George Washington University in 1980. A January 2006 recipient of the Presidential Rank Award as a meritorious executive, she also received the Lee Lamb Award for outstanding public servants that same month. Along with her husband, Michael, and children, Randall and Craig, she resides in Silver Springs, Maryland. We proudly honor Susan Levin Binder with induction into the Norristown Area High School Hall of Fame. <laughs> Accepting on Susan's behalf is her husband, Michael. On behalf, I'm obviously not Susan, and on behalf of Susan, she is uh, very deeply honored and humbled to be inducted into the Town High School Area Hall of Fame. She sends her regrets. Uh, she can't be here this evening. Uh, I think I owe you an explanation where she is. She's incarcerated. Well, let me explain. <laughs> she, she now works for the United States Senate, which is like being incarcerated. And she is in California this evening with Senator Barbara Boxer at a legislative strategy session. And I can assure you, she would prefer to be here with you this evening. And on her behalf, I'd like to thank the Selection Committee and everyone at Norristown High School. David R. Brennan, class of 1971. Beginning his career with Merck and Company in 1975, this inductee rose from sales representative in the United States Division to general manager of Chabray International, a French Merck subsidiary specializing in ophthalmics. He left that position in 1992 to join Astra Merck the joint venture of Astra Pharmaceuticals and Merck, where he was responsible for helping build the joint venture into a multi-billion dollars here in the United States. Prior to the merger of Astra AB and Zeneca PLC, he was Senior Vice President of Business Planning and Development at Astra Pharmaceuticals. In 1999, he became Senior Vice President commercialization and portfolio management for AstraZeneca, and in 2001, he became president and chief executive officer of AstraZeneca LP, the company's North American subsidiary. He was also in charge of all North American commemorations. In 2005, he was appointed executive board director of AstraZeneca with responsibility for the United States and all North American operations. Then on January 1st, 2006, he was appointed Chief Executive Officer of AstraZeneca based in London, England. This inductee's Norristown High activities included receiving the Gennardi Scholar-Athlete Award, 
participation in football, soccer, volleyball, track, intramural bowling, key club, and end club, and the balcony boys, while serving as homeroom vice president. He went on from Narstown to receive a bachelor's degree in business administration at Gettysburg College. Professional activities include serving as a member of the executive board of the Pharmaceutical Research and Manufacturers of America and of the executive board of the European Federation of Pharmaceutical Industries and Associations. He is also a member of the Board of Fellows at Gettysburg College, past chairman of the board of, of the Southeastern Pennsylvania Chapter of the American Heart Association, and honorary board member of the U.S. CEO Roundtable on Cancer. In December 2007, he was appointed a commissioner of the United Kingdom Commission for Employment and Skills. David, who has four children, resides in England with his wife, Dorothy. The Norristown Area High School Hall of Fame welcomes David Brennan as its newest inductee. Accepting the award on Mr. Brennan's behalf is Cindy Serator, Secretary of the Hall of Champions Association. As uh, the chair of the Hall of Fame Selection Committee, Dave asked me to share his uh, thoughts with you. He was very uh, disappointed that he couldn't attend tonight. Unfortunately, uh, London is a long way away, and even though he had put it on his schedule oh, months and months ago, it just didn't work and he had hoped to have a Brennan family member accept as well, and that didn't work. Um, he, Dave, and his wife, Olszewski, graduated together in 1971, and they have traveled around the world living in different places. But um, he still feels Narstown is his home, and he appreciates all that has happened in his life due to his uh, success at Narstown and beyond. So on his behalf, I accept this, and I will get it to him in Thanksgiving when he expects to be back in Pennsylvania. Thank you. Stephen A. Harner, class of 1973. This Norristown alumnus returned to serve his school as a longtime wrestling coach, remembered most for his championship teams. He coached Suburban One Wrestling Team Championships in 1996 through 2004, PIAA Sectional Champions in 1996, 97, 99, 2000, 2001, 2003, and 2004. His teams won PIAA district championships and regional championships in 96, 97, and 2001, and won district one dual meet championships in 1996 and 97. Named Suburban One Coach of the Year from 1996 through 2003, he was inducted into the Montgomery County Coaches Hall of Fame in 2007 the Southeastern Pennsylvania Coaches Hall of Fame in 2008, and was named District One Coach of the Year in 1996, 97, and 2001. In addition, his Norristown team was named the Philadelphia Inquirer Wrestling of the Year in 96, 97, and 01. His career at NAHS included coaching 41 PIAA state qualifiers, one state champion, 16 state medalists, 44 PWCA all-state academic wrestlers, 14 regional champions, 19 district champions, 61 sectional champions, and 12 wrestlers who garnered more than 100 career wins. He coached the Middle Atlantic Association to four Disney Duel AAU national championships, in 2004, 2005, and 2006, and to three AAU Freestyle National Championships in 2005. 
He was wrestling coach at Williamson Free Trade School, which ranked fifth in the nation. In 2008, he accepted the head wrestling coach position at Conestoga High School. As a wrestler during his pre-graduation days at Norristown, he was on the first team Suburban One all area teams in 1973. Was PIAA section championship champion in 1973 and was a two-time Kiwanis tournament champion in 1971 and 1972. He received a Bachelor of Arts degree in Sociology Anthropology from Clarion State College in 1980, a teaching certificate in secondary education in social studies, and a master's degree in educational leadership from Gwynedd Merch. A graduate of the United States Army Ranger School, the Jungle Warfare School, the Mountain Warfare School, the Korean Ranger School, and Officer Candidate School. He served in the United States Marine Corps from 1980 to 1992, obtaining the rank of Captain. An officer of the Norriston Area High School Champions Association, this inductee is employed as a high school leader by the Norristown Area School District. He and his wife, Marion, and daughter, Andrea, are residents of East Norriston Township. Ladies and gentlemen, please join us in welcoming Stephen Harner to the Norristown Area High School Hall of Fame. Good evening. It's much like uh, Richard Slater. I really don't have much to say tonight. I'm a little caught off guard. It's a great evening. I have the opportunity tonight to be around some friends. Uh, Richard and I were gra graduated together, teammates together. To have Manny here, former wrestler, it's a tremendous evening. I like the thanks that I had and all the teachers in Norristown that helped me through the years to get through the school here and help better my life. I also have my wife here tonight, Marion, and uh, we've been married 23 years. And most of my friends just call her St. Marion after 23 years of being with me. I've been very fortunate to have coached some tremendous athletes and individuals. And I've been very fortunate to have parents who trusted me with their kids. And uh, I really appreciated the uh, honor tonight. Thank you very much. Susan L. Dovin, Ph.D., Class of 1976. This Norristown alumna began her career as a microbiologist in the clinical and research laboratories at the Johns Hopkins Medical Institution, and while earning her doctorate in the Retrovirus Biology Laboratory, received a scholarship for her academic excellence from the Achievement Rewards for College Scientists Foundation. She continued her training as a virologist at the National Institutes of Health, has published several papers from her scientific research in professional journals, and has written a number of book chapters. She joined the faculty at the University of Maryland University Center for Teaching Excellence after eight years in teaching. Her activities at Norristown included election to the National Honor Society, varsity cheerleader, Senior Girls Powder Puff Football Team, the NAHS Parents Club Art Award, and she was named one of the top 10 students in her class. She received her Bachelor of Science, summa cum laude, in medical technology from Shippensburg University. Her PA uh, occasion, and I'm not only grateful, but I'm really humbled by this. Uh, I consider myself incredibly fortunate in my life, fortunate in many ways, uh, but I'd like to mention two tonight. The first one, I have the best job in the whole world. Teaching science to college students is the perfect job for me. 
I actually get paid to be a know-it-all. Lecture hall. Many other people in my life that have been terrific. Many of them teachers, and this was an occasion where I had an opportunity to think back on some of the teachers I had at Norristown, and I would like to mention a few. Mr. Salner taught me Algebra 1 and 2. He was an older gentleman, um, a very nice gentleman, but that man really knew his math. He had a tradition every Friday, every week, he gave a quiz. And whoever got the highest grade in the quiz had the opportunity to go bowl that Saturday morning with him and his wife at Vicenda Whitaker. Now, as an adult, I look back and I think, what a nice thing for a teacher to do. But as a young teenager, it could be horrifying on a Saturday to spend it with your teacher and his wife. Well, in Mr. Sounder's class, I learned that I actually was very good at math, and I also learned how to bowl. <laughs> Mr. Elvich taught me 10th grade biology. His was notoriously difficult. Um, and I always tell my kids, it's the teachers that are hard and that expect a lot from you, and it's in those classes where you learn the most about yourself and what you're made of. And in Mr. Elvidge's class, that was probably the first time I realized that I was, I was also good in science. I do remember, however, hiding my exams so no one could see my grades. And although I'll admit to you now that I'm a bit of a nerd and I'm really proud now, it was the last label I ever wanted in high school. My most important interaction with the teacher, though, was probably one of the briefest. In seventh grade at Stewart Junior High, I had a world cultures teacher, Mrs. Raithy. She was very beautiful. She looked like Marlo Thomas. And one day I was leaving her class, and she came up to me and she said, Sue, are you going to come after school today to the cheerleading tryouts? I said, no, I, I hadn't even considered. And she said, well, I really think you should. And I said, no, I, I don't think so, thinking I'm really not into public humiliation. I, I don't even know how to do a cartwheel. And she said, we'll teach you everything you need to know. Just come, I think you should come. And for some reason, I listened to her and I went. And she was right, they taught me everything I needed to know and I actually made the cheerleading squad. And for the next six years, I was a cheerleader through junior high and here at Norristown High. And I know this sounds really silly, and it's not something I speak to Mike about, um, but that had a tremendous effect on my life as a teenager. I belonged to a group. Um, I made friends. It boosted my self-confidence. It was an outlet for an extrovert in a very awkward time in her life. Um, I was a kid who didn't struggle in a classroom, but socially, I certainly did struggle. And so, I can't imagine what my life would have been like as a teenager had I not been a leader. And all because it, one teacher took one minute out of her day to single me out and encourage me to take a chance. I try to remember that, and I try to pass that forward, because as an adult now, I know that we too can have a tremendous influence on someone else's life. Okay, one quick story before I end. Uh, quite a few years ago, I was asked to fill in for a professor teaching an evening microbiology class. I said, sure. Late after work, I went in and I gave the lecture. And after class, a young woman from the lecture hall came walking down the aisle and up to me. I thought she was going to ask me a, a question about my lecture. And she looked me straight in the eye and she said, you have a Philadelphia accent. And so I said, what anyone would say, I do not. I have no accent at all. She said, you have a Philadelphia accent. You must be from Philadelphia. And I looked at her and I said, well, detecting a Philadelphia accent, I'm assuming you're also from Philadelphia. Where are you from? And she said, I'm from a town outside of Philadelphia, Norristown. And I realized that she didn't hear Philadelphia at all. Here she was in another state taking classes and heard me speak. And my voice was so familiar to her that it sounded like home. As it turns out, she is the daughter of someone who taught me English in my Ed Kirshner. And when he taught me, he was probably in his early 20s, probably about the same age she was when I met her. 
So it's really fascinating how sometimes your life comes full circle. And I realize that no matter how far you go or where you end up, the place that you were raised is so embedded in who you are. So I thank you for this honor and for inviting me here tonight. Thanks. Thank you very much. That was great. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed our induction ceremony tonight. I would like to congratulate our new and wish them well. Also, I'd like to thank everyone who has made this, cere this ceremony a night to remember. Please refer to our, uh, our thank yous on page 57 and acknowledgments on page 4 of your program for a complete, a complete list of all those who have helped to make this a great program. It's been a great team effort. Speaking of team efforts, this is also our 30th anniversary, and uh, tonight we have three, three of our uh, founders with us. I'd like to just spend a, just a brief moment to thank them very much. Uh, they're still active. Uh, Mr. Jim Wood, uh, Mrs. Nancy Collier, and Mr. Wilmer Cressman. These are three of our founders from 30 years ago. And we still depend on them for their support. They're great. Thank you. Uh, I'd like to invite everyone to join us in the cafeteria for light refreshments and to meet and greet, uh, congratulate our new inductees. And by the way, the steps to the cafeteria is the right. I'd also like to remind everyone when you visit the cafeteria to take a moment to look at the Schellenberger Memorial Showcase, 
along the rear wall, and also to look at the new Founders Showcase on your left as you enter the cafeteria. Our Showcase Committee has done an outstanding job for these two showcases, and if you look at them, you'll understand what I'm talking about. They do a great job. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you all, and uh, God bless America. Please stand and join me in uh, our first verse of the alma mater. Thank you.